Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the inline MIDI editor in Reaper. Now the inline MIDI editor is very useful for editing on MIDI right in the arrangement window, right over here. Where typically, if we go to our MIDI items and double click them, it opens up a separate window, which is our normal MIDI editor. But sometimes you don't want that separate window. You just want to see the MIDI right here in the arrangement window where we could edit it. And we could do that by selecting it first, right clicking it, and go down here to open items in editor, and down over here, open in inline editor. And we could also use the keyboard shortcut, which is E. So we could select it, hit E, and it switches to the inline editor for that MIDI item. And right from here, we can edit our MIDI. Let's make it bigger so we can see it better. And if we click inside here, we can then zoom with the page up and page down buttons on our keyboard. Page up or page down. But we could also zoom or scroll right up over here with these arrows. Just go up or down to scroll and go left to make it smaller or right to make it bigger. Now the way this lays out is very similar to the piano roll MIDI editor, which we'll see right over here with the piano on the left side and our notes on the right side. But it's right here in the arrangement window. If we go to the upper right corner, there's some tools we could work with. The furthest to the right will close the editor. But we could open it back up with the E key or close it the same way as it toggles. Off and then on. The next button is the arrows that I just showed you. To scroll up or down or make them smaller to the left or bigger to the right. The next one over here decides the shape of our notes. This is the default, which is a rectangle, but we can hit it once. It changes to triangles, which is great for drums. Hit it again. It changes to diamonds. We'll hit it again to go back to our rectangles. Then over here, we have the show hide preferences with the magnifying glass. So right now, we see every note that we could play, but we can cut that down by hitting it once. And now we're only seeing all the notes we used or notes that are named in the editor. So if I double click this, we could see over here, these notes are named. My kick, snare, hi-hat, and toms. So we're just gonna see these notes. When we hit this button once, if we hit it again, now we only see notes that are actually used, which is my kick, snare, and hi-hat. As we can see here, those are the only notes that I played. Now, if you notice, as we go back and forth between the normal MIDI editor and the inline MIDI editor, the preferences change together. So when I change it here to all notes, we're going to see all notes in the normal MIDI editor right here. So both windows will mirror their preferences. And this last button decides if our controller information moves with our notes, which is the same button as right over here. So those are the buttons in the upper right corner. But besides that, we can edit our MIDI right in this window in the same way as we do it in this window. So I could select notes, delete them, copy them, paste them somewhere else, delete them by double clicking them, make new ones by double clicking. I could duplicate them with modifiers. And we could also select a note, right click it, and get the same menu with all the options that we get in the normal MIDI editor, right over here. So all these options are available 
in this editor as well. So I can right click it, copy, cut, paste, even quantize, humanize, or select all notes at the pitch, which grabs all my snares, then right click and go to note properties and change the properties of my snare. Maybe cut my velocity in half, divide by two, and change the velocity of all my snares. Undo. So just about anything you need to edit as far as MIDI can be done in this editor, including a continuous controllers. If we go down here, see the cursor changes, we could bring this up to see our controllers and it defaults to velocity. So I could change the velocity of all my snares right here, or my kicks, or we could change what we see by going back to the normal MIDI editor and change it over here. Maybe change it to pitch. Let's draw in some pitch data. Now it's going to show up in the inline editor right here. And we could draw it in here as well. Let's redraw it, something like this. So we can see the pitch data or any other data right in this window. And we could change it in the normal MIDI editor, where we could add even more of them. Let's add right here. Let's change this to velocity. So we can see velocity and pitch at the same time. And then if we close it, we'll see both in this window, pitch and velocity. And if we want to get rid of it, open it back up, get rid of the pitch, just see the velocity, or even close it up right here. But we could also do all this from this window. We could open this back up and right click to get a menu where we could set the lane to whatever controller we want. Let's put it back to pitch. Or we could add a lane right here. Or hide the lane to make it go away. But one of my favorite things about using the inline editor is we could line up audio with our MIDI a lot easier. Let's zoom in so we can see the snare hit, which is audio, isn't perfectly lined up with my MIDI. So I can move the audio around to match the MIDI a lot easier in this window. Just grab it and shift it around to line up with the MIDI. Or we could do the opposite. Line up the MIDI with our audio. Select these, drag it right in line with the audio right here. Which is something that's very hard to do using this editor, as we can't see both at the same time. So when you need to line up your audio with your MIDI, or your MIDI with your audio, it's a lot easier to do it with the inline editor. And when you're done editing your MIDI, just select it, hit E again, and it goes back to normal. But anytime you want to quickly edit your MIDI, just select it, hit E, and you can do it right here in the arrangement window. Let me select these chords, delete them, and you can edit right in this window without having to open up the MIDI editor every time. So that's pretty much it. That's the inline MIDI editor in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.